Chou Dulan, um, as we talked about, is right the most basic of the forms. We start out just doing the up, down here. Now, of course, the, 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 the likelihood that you are going to do um, two like honor sashes kind of in a row, if I'm coming from here like this, and then he comes to the other side, you know, that, that's, that's probably never going to happen, yes. So what exactly is the, the uh, purpose of Dulan? And as we've talked about before, right, yes, there are some combinations. We'll go over those in a second, you know, in, 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 a, in a moment. But um, the, for, for general, general use, when, when we are, and I'll put on my mask here real quick just to... Show you when, when we are moving around kind of free, right, just right, good. Okay, we, we, we may be able to make any decision we want, okay, but we're certainly not free to do anything we want, right. Right. Okay? If I'm here, this is good strategy if I do it like this, because he can't get in here on me, and then I just kind of go here. What's not a good strategy is if I'm fighting one person, right, if you come in like this, as soon as he backs up, then turn around, try to spin in there, be all fancy, right? Obviously not a good idea, right? Now. If he comes rushing in, and he pushes me, and then pushes me back, and I fly around like that, being able to spin is actually a pretty useful trick, right? But that's only in that particular event, right? So I don't want anybody to think that Dulan is, is, is like the go-to, right? Like that's where, that's where everything is. The Dulan is a practice thing, okay? If we were fighting for rea in, re in reality, the fight would be very quick, good, very quick, but very short, you know what I mean? So we, we would be in here like this, right? But we have to keep that energy up. We're not going to do that forever, right? Even now, even now, if I don't get a hook right away, I disengage and I'm trying to get a better position, right? Okay? So one of the things Dulan does in general is it limits what you can do, right? It gives you a set of moves that, you're, that you need to do, and you need to do it that way, right? It, it, you know, it constrains everything you do. So when you're doing free form, like if you just, if you're doing all of this kind of stuff, that's good for exercise. It's very good for exercise. Maybe it's good for some techniques or anything like that. But in general, free form doesn't really give you much because you're not going to go out of your comfort zone. Okay? You're not going to do a combination that never occurred to you. You're only going to do combinations that occur to you. You're only going to do combinations that you know. Right? You can't do things that you don't know. You may stumble upon something, right? Like, oh, that's, that's kind of neat. But since you're by yourself, you have no feedback. You don't have anybody telling you, did I do that right or did I not, right? Okay, am I gonna get hit? Am I, am I not, right? <clears throat> it doesn't, you know, it's that kind of myth, I think, is really, really popular. Right, is that I just do free form, and that's that, that's kind of all I do. Forms, forms are for, forms are useless. Right, you hear that a, a lot. So I think what happens a lot of times is in, in what we call dulan, it's both vilified and deified too much. Okay, forms themselves, dulan, are convenient ways to practice. Right. They're routines that you can that you can do that are going to help keep uh, 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 technique, you know, sharp and all of that. However, 
you, it's not going to answer any of your questions. Okay? It's a biomechanical thing. It's there for cardio. It's to you know, kind of build all of that kind of stuff up. So it gives you skills, and it's a way to practice skills that you will need in fighting, in, in sparring, what have you. Right? Most of the, the Dulan will last about as long as an actual engagement, right? between a minute and three minutes, somewhere in there. Right? So, that, so that, that type of cardio burst where I, I, I'm doing these particular motions which are specific to, to what I'm going to do. Yes, I might not always you know, do all kinds of neat, fancy motions and stuff like that, but even if we go here a little bit, right? Right? Now, I'm at a little bit of an advantage because I don't have a helmet on, so he can't hit me there. But I'll do it again here. Right. Okay. Good. Right? But when I'm moving, and if, if, if we're doing this in a match, right, we'll have a certain amount of points. But we can't go, if we, even if we just do this, we can't do this for a whole long time. Right? <laughs> It, 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 we're going to have a limit before we start going, oh, okay, we got to do something else here, right? There's, go, there's going to be something like that. So you do want to vary it up and you know, and all that kind of stuff, right? Dulan kind of gives you that effect, right? The effect of somebody else pushing you on, not letting you do exactly what you want to do, right? I'll give you another example of the not doing exactly what you want to do. <laughs> so, reverse grip, very, very popular, right? Okay. Uh, yes, <laughs> I can sort of use it that way, but I'm at a huge disadvantage, right? <laughs> ah. Okay. Number one, I can't get my blade exactly where I need it all the time, right? So. <laughs> okay. I could use it somewhere in here if I want to get different leverage and stuff like that, or if I let go of my saber all of a sudden hit it and all that kind of thing. But generally speaking, especially with a white saber, this is going to be probably not the greatest, the greatest idea. And if anybody else wants to try it, absolutely, to try the reverse grip. Oh, I'm already aware of how yeah. I'm yeah. Yes, sir. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> so, right? But that's the thing. When I'm doing this by myself, right, this may be a good exercise for me to do. I'm learning how to, I'm learning how to wield my saber pointed the wrong way. So, in reality, if I get caught like that, he comes up to me, I'm holding it like this, and he starts attacking me, I can at least maybe defend myself a couple of times before switching it right back around. Okay? Even in the video games, Star Killer does like one strike like that and then he turns it around regular. So there you go. But that's just an example. I can't spin around, I can't necessarily like I want to I want to get him with a Sarlacc sweep. But that doesn't necessarily mean I can. Right? Maybe I do this and he me every time, right? <laughs> Not every time, but okay. See, so in that case, that that did work. But if I'm coming up over here like this, maybe that's not going to be the best thing, right? If he's putting pressure on me, if he's coming in, okay, I'm again. He got me here. I'm again limited by what he is doing to me. He's going to come in. He has to. I have to at least. Right? Get that. That was not very successful. Right? So I have to try again. Right? I have to I have to react to the other person. Right? But I can't, if he's coming in with an overhead strike, I'm not just gonna do that. 
right? Sure, I could get the hit, but I'm also going to get hit. We don't necessarily want that after blow, right? So we want to be able to... And if you notice, if I switch it up, okay, that is more successful. And that's one of the things that the Duolan will teach you how to do, right? You're going to go from one, you're going to go from one move to the other, and you know, constantly kind of keep going on to the next one. Now, yes, you memorize it, you get it down, you get very, very good at it, and then it may not give you a whole lot of, uh, you know, physical benefit, you know, like cardio benefit, all that kind of thing, because you adapted to it and everything like that. But we have other forms. But you can always toggle the form too. So I can always be doing the first trajectory here like this, right? If that gets too easy, I can do it faster. I can do it with more power. I can go lower, right? And try to challenge myself in different ways. All of this is specific to not having a partner, okay? Going into those low stances is going to replicate the fatigue in your legs, right, that you get. Okay, it's going, you know, putting that in a level of, of, of uh, pressure on your systems in an organized fashion in a way that you have, you notice that when you, be, when you don't know what the next move is and you have to think, you notice you get more tired, right? Yes, sir. Right, so I'm like, if you're going, and you're trying to think of each move as you're going through that, well, you're getting more benefit out of it. You're getting that constraining of what, you, of what you want to do with what you should be doing, right? And as we saw, and we can go over into that as well, um, why it's done that way. Um, there, are, there are definitely reasons why things are done in particular ways. But even if there is, the only reason is for control, it's a good reason, right? We want to have control over our weapons, so we don't necessarily, even when he hit, hit me here in the arm, if he hits me here in the arm, go ahead, hit me in the arm, right, like there, we're not, we're not, ah! <laughs> you know, it's just a tap, okay, sometimes they get, right, sometimes they get, you know, they'll, they'll leave a little bit, but generally speaking, we do not want to be, you know, playing baseball here with this stuff. Okay, so that's just a kind of a general Dulan idea. Um.